In this segment, we're going to prep our gable trim for installation on the roof. Now, in the previous segments, we've got the first panel started. The gable cleat is installed, anchored 12 inches on center. This is the piece that will encompass that whole area to give it a nice, finished, clean look. Now, it's going to go like this. Now, what we're going to do is show you how to prep this end. Now, right now, if it's up on the roof, you're going to have a big hole there. You're going to look right up in there. So what we are going to show you in this segment, how to close this off. Now, this is also shown in the install guide that hopefully you have. If not, contact Fabrow or your distributor. We will get you one. Now, what we're going to do is fold these edges in on themselves to give it a finished edge instead of open. Now, you'll notice across the top are two inches. So this leg and this leg needs to be two inches so that it can fill this in. So what we've done, I've made some marks. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but there's a mark at two inches all the way around this guy. Okay. Now what you want to do is make some cuts, which I pre-cut. You want to cut the little drip edge to allow this to bend. You want to cut these two top bends right at the bend. Now, once you've got these cut, and again, you're cutting in two inches, cut right to your mark. There's a fold sequence, inside, outside, top. And again, this is shown in the install manual. Inside, outside, then the top. Very important. Once you've got your cuts, just like we did when we hemmed our panel, I always like to take a handbrake to get our bends started. So again, you put the bend in. And you just have to get it started just to create a nice clean break so that when you bend this over, it's going to look nice. Now, again, I always like to use a rubber mallet. Bend that guy over. Nice clean edge. Same thing on the inside, outside, top. Same thing on the outside. Put your break in. Now, this top tab, you might have to bend out of the way. Just get it started. You don't have to take it all the way. That'll create a nice clean break so that when you do bend it over you've got a nice clean bend inside outside top I'm saying it over and over so that you remember that now you can see what's starting to happen here it's closing off now the same thing with the top put your brake on you want to get it started that'll put a nice clean break knock this guy over now you've got a nice finished edge instead of it being open. Now, what you probably want to do here, you can put a rivet through that, you can put a screw, something to tie all these pieces together. And again, with the raw edges, just like with the hemming, you can get some paint from Fabrile, it'll match exactly, you can touch some of this stuff up. Now, when it's up in the, in the air, I've got some help here, this is what you're going to see instead of looking all the way up in there. So now we've got this th uh, piece of trim prepped, ready to go up and uh, up on the roof. We'll show you how to do that next.